in this video, I'm gonna take you to look at Museo Mural Diego Rivera, which is where Diego Rivera's mural, Sueño de una tarde dominical en la Alameda Central, or Dream of a Sunday Afternoon in the Alameda Central is located. Let's watch him! Well, this museum is not only home for its mural, but to organize temporary exhibits as well. Before I saw it, I strolled around to see an exhibition that talks about the in-between of indifference by artists from Academia de Artes. And in its image tells about conflict, struggle, oppression, and inequality in recent human trajectories. jumping into the masterpiece. was placed here, it was at the Hotel del Prado, but in September 1985, there was a great earthquake in Mexico City, and Hotel del Prado was a ruin, and luckily the mural was salvaged and this is his home now. This mural has two sections, first represents the conquest and the colonial era, Hernan Cortes, Priwan de Sumaraga, Sir Juana Inés de la Cruz, and Luis de Velasco to appear. Then it's about independence and the French interventions, where Antonio Lopez de Santa Ana seems handing over the keys to the territories to the North American General Winfield Scott. The Reformation and the Second Empire, with the figures of Benito Juarez, Ignacio Ramirez, Ignacio Manuel Altamirano, Massimiliano de Asburgo, and Emperatrice Carlota. The central section begins with Manuel Guedres Nayara greeting Jose Marti with his head. And they are important writers, distinguish themselves in the modernist trend. Together with them are Luce Cita Diaz and Carmen Romero Rubio, brother and wife of Porfirio Diaz. And uh, among these characters appears Diego Rivera at the age of 9 and behind him um, 
Frida Kahlo and La Calavera Katrina gives Diego child his hand and his arm to Jose Guadalupe Posada. Um, he is creator of the famous school. And in the third section, Rivera illustrates the peasant movements and the way in which the Mexican Revolution developed. He portrays uh, mistreated peasants and the dreams of justice. Modern Mexico is represented by a presidential figure who is being corrupted by religion, women, and business. Also in this section appear the portraits of Guadalupe Rivera Marin, Ruth Rivera Marin, and Guadalupe Marin. She was Diego's ex-wife and mother of Ruth and Guadalupe. And Rosa Rolanda, painter and choreographer. And Diego reportrays himself as a child eating a cake. And setting in which all these character streams is the Alameda Central. An iconic promenade in Mexico City that the artist takes advantage of to reflect the story of his country. It's all in the first section, there was a public mural that doesn't exist that makes up this mural. Ignacio Ramirez, uh, the necromancer, is portrayed where he once delivered a speech that began with the controversial race that doesn't exist and um, when Rivera painted the mural in 1947, he, re he represented the intellectual with a scroll on which praise could be read and this color was immediate in June 1948, notably before the integration of the Hotel de Prado her Archbishop Luis Maria Martinez refused to bless the space and a group of conservative students attacked the mural and scratched uh, the praise. And the work had to be covered with screens that were removed on a few occasions. Diego said, the mural is composed of memories of my life, my childhood and my youth and goes from 1895 to 1910. And all the characters are dreaming. Some sleep on benches and others, walking and talking. As well, there is a space of Maria Izquierdo, a Mexican painter, which is known for being the first Mexican woman to have her artwork exhibited in the United States. And uh, she is one of Rivera's favorite students in Academia de Artes. And uh, her works displayed about her Mexican roots. See you at the next video.